Oh hey there, welcome to the new episode of what else can you do with your logo and today we're gonna study this uh, interesting uh, effect that basically I uploaded a good while ago on Instagram and it pretty much went viral, it was uh, one of the most recommended I mean the most requested ones. Uh, it's a little bit more basic, it's not, uh, it won't be that long, so uh, yeah, bear with me. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with the daily updates. Alright, so we got this, I'm gonna remove it to the side, as you can see, ta -da, I got my logo. You can try your logos uh, or whatever kind of logo or text you want to try. I'm gonna use this as always. And we're gonna put the first gradient. As you can see here, we got a lot of colors. We got blue, we got uh, orange, yellow, pink, and so on and so forth. So here's the gradient right here. You press it. And of course, the default color is black and white. So we're gonna press that first. And as you can see here, the R, the E, the T is like separately colored like with the gradient. So I'm gonna select it and press G. And I'm gonna press shift also. And I'm gonna pu put it like this. So right now everything is uh, uh, pretty much together. And I'm gonna select some colors. I'm thinking to go with the same colors as that one, the original one. I might think I'm gonna actually, I need to select the logo first. After that, I'm going to. So we got some blue going on. This is cyan. Anyways, I'm gonna choose this one first. Um, purple. We got a lot of purple here. You can play around, you know. The main idea is how to du duplicate these. I press and hold Alt. And I just pull this, okay? So this is how du you duplicate. Make a new circle like this. This basically you can uh, edit the gradient like... Uh, Actually, I'm gonna pull this a little bit more here. And now I'm gonna go with the pink. I'm gonna double click on it. And here you can see we got uh, here you can adjust it like this separately, the colors. Or you can just select your color, color tone. So I'm gonna press the pink. I'm gonna tr Actually, this is kind of strong. I don't know if this, this is the original pink. It seems to be, I mean. Ah, uh, yeah, it might be. We're gonna see at the end how it's gonna turn out. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and just drag this again. And I, now I'm gonna select the orange. There you go. Double click on this. I'm gonna select the yellow. This part came out pretty good. But I got a little bit of problem with this pink. It's kind of strong. It's not, it doesn't fit. And yeah, this is the pink. Bingo. Bingo. I think I should make some, uh, I should pull this here a little. And what I did, basically, I pressed G and I pulled like this. So it goes to corner to corner. Something like that. I'm gonna make more uh, blue there, put some more blue there because uh, this area, the orange area is like pretty sharp. I mean, pretty dense there, like um, the other colors also need to fit in there. Okay, it should be something like this. Next. So this one's a tricky one. Uh, I'm gonna see how it's gonna turn out. So basically you select the logo and then you press and hold Alt and also Shift and just drag it. Okay, select both, go to Object, go to Blend and Make. As you can see, it added like few copies in between. Now we're gonna go to this, to the Blend tool. Double click on the Blend tool and click Previews. Select spe plus Specified Steps. And as you can see, we did like six copies and we're going to increase the copies a lot. I'm going to increase, increase it to like a 300 or something like that and press OK. 
and as you can see this is uh, basically it made like one single line gradient line actually I think I could like fit even more I'm gonna try if you want to go back you know to add like more uh, logos or more letters or more copies you just double click here on the blend tool click previews I am at uh, 300 I'm gonna add some more and as you can see uh, they're adding more copies and it's becoming like one single line in here now you barely can see these uh, vertical lines okay this should be enough I'm gonna create a new copy so if I do something wrong then I can go back so yeah and now we're gonna make this uh, weird stuff how it's bending uh, we're gonna make that with the pen tool I'm gonna go and select let's say the black color and switch it from fill to stroke right now it's on fill as you can see it here and we need to sw switch it to stroke so I'm gonna press this arrow kind of thing and now click on the stroke and you have the stroke here I'm gonna go to the pen tool select the pen tool it's right here and I'm gonna recreate this kind of uh, twisted bending kind of uh, line so I'm gonna go here just press and hold and drag it and here I'm gonna create another one and this is how you bend the shapes basically these are the handles of the line and you can if you if I drag it more it's gonna bend like even more weirdly um, I'm gonna create another one here and the last one should go somewhere around here I'm gonna press also shift to isolate like uh, vertically so it doesn't move right now it looks like this I can see like there's like a little bit of problems going on here and there for example here is like too straight so I'm gonna press the direct selection tool right here I'm gonna select this uh, anchor point right this so I can grab the handle and uh, adjust even better or here you can play around however you like okay this should be enough look at that it looks pretty good I think I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, bigger like this okay I'm gonna select both of these and now go to object blend replace spine as you can see it looks something like this I think it looks even better like the original one of course like the colors are like more bright more vivid but uh, it's almost we're almost there from here of course you can like uh, change do some more changes twist it however you want as you can see there's like more space between um, the logo layers so I'm gonna try to add even more to, you know to force it a little bit so I'm gonna double click on the blend tool and see what happens if I add some more I'm gonna increase it to 60 600 sorry uh, yeah it did something I don't know man I'm gonna increase it to a thousand let's let me preview and preview again yeah it did it it did something so as as you add more and more um, copies you're gonna slow down the computer even more so um, take that in mind you know so as you can see the head you know the basically this form the head is like uh, it's, uh, it's going to the left it's turning to the left and this one is like straight horizontal so, so we can edit that also basically how you do that is you double click on this you can double click on two logos this one and this one and you can edit these two logos mainly so I can double click on this and I can twist 
right? So it twists the twist, it basically twists the whole thing. I'm gonna twist it more, and you can see it starts to look even better. It starts to look even more interesting. I also can like scale it up or scale it down. So I'm gonna press and hold shift plus alt at the same time and just uh, increase the size of the logo. Let's see what happens. Ooh, looking pretty. And this one is like way more thinner. Gonna release it. There's like some stuff going on in here because it's not that, because basically we can like bend even more. Um, let me see if I press the direct selection tool, you can uh, select, select the direct selection tool and basically you can edit the spark. This is the spine which you made with uh, the pen tool. I like how I did this, but I'm gonna create a new copy so I don't mess up the original one. Like that. And I I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, which is here. I'm gonna click on this anchor point. I'm gonna see what else can I do with this. See now it, uh, it bends like this. Or what else if I pull this way? Interesting. So yeah, you, you can like experiment. This is the main thing to experiment, to see what you're gonna get. Whoa. So don't select it like this because you're gonna select the logo as well. So just go click here and find the anchor point. The anchor point of this, uh, which we basically made the spine with the pen tool. So as you can see, I just selected the anchor point. I want to uh, edit this, so I'm going to pull it here a little more. I, I'm going to drag the handle here. Oh, interesting. Not bad. So yeah, this is the thing. You can do a lot of stuff. You can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, but there's like one more thing I need to show you. Actually, I'm gonna bring this back because it's like too much uh, on the right. I don't like that much. Okay. Ah, <sighs> let me check this. So basically, as you can see, there's like a shadow going on in here. So it can highlight this uh, logo, the front logo. So basically here you can you can see the logo because it's uh, it's like you know blending in too much. It's like a chameleon. What I usually do is create a new copy so I don't touch the original one, and I'm gonna go and expand. Go to object, expand, and go and click OK. Wow. As you can see, it just created a lot of, a lot of layers, a lot of stuff. So you need a pretty, pretty strong computer for this stuff because it's going to lag. So I'm going to ungroup this, right click, ungroup. And as you can see, this is the first um, layer. Uh, I'm going to select uh, the rest of the layers. What I'm going to do is select like this. Basically select all the top ones like this, you know, and now I got to zoom in and see which one is the last one. Basically, this was the last one. I got to press and hold shift and click on the last one. So basically it's deselected right now. And now I'm going to press control C and then control F. And it created a copy of all this uh, copies. I mean, yeah. From here, we're going to click on the Unite from the Pathfinder. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select Pathfinder and go to Unite. So it's gonna take a while, a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna send me an error because of too much layers and the whole software gonna crash. And there you go. Everything is together now. If I remove this one, you still can see uh, all the layers 
under. And now I'm gonna modify this uh, gradient. I'm gonna press G and I'm just gonna... Wait, what? Of course. If you can't modify this, then it means that uh, the stroke is on the top, you know? And the fill is on the bottom, the colorful fill is on the bottom. So you need to click on the fill so the stroke goes under and as you can see it shows and you can now you can edit this stuff uh yeah i just gonna pull it like this because this area is gonna be more in shadow and this area won't is basically it's gonna be transparent so i'm gonna go here on this uh, transparency click on that am i no 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 sorry <laughs> actually it's at the gradient i don't know what i'm doing so anyways you can see a lot of stuff here you just need to remove these how you remove this, you just pull it down like this, boom. And it just removes all this uh, gradients. I'm gonna double click on the yellow. This actually is pretty nice. Look at that, the blue and the yellow, look at that. I'm gonna select a gray and I'm gonna go here. I don't know, I'm gonna select a white. And now you can see that this is pretty much white so we need to decrease the opacity 100% as you can see here is the opacity 100% so we're gonna click on this and go to zero okay I think I'm gonna put some more darker gray in there yeah you basically you need to test it out so now I go to transparency and I select here the normal and go to let's say multiply yeah, I think this is how I made the last one also with multiply. Some like that, yeah. I think it's too strong, so I'm gonna decrease the opacity of this. So I'm gonna, as you can see, I went back to the transparency option and here is the opacity, which is 100%. So I'm gonna drag it down, I don't know, let's say something around 80. The 80s. And yeah, mainly this is how we do this thing. All right, this is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye bye.